I'm Leah McGowan Hare, and I'm here to help you get to know the Einstein Copilot as part of your Salesforce AI Specialist Certification. Navigating the powerful and complex landscape of Salesforce CRM is made easier with Einstein Copilot, your personal CRM assistant. With Copilot, you can interact with your CRM by simply asking questions or giving instructions in natural language. What sets Copilot apart is the ability to ground all actions and generate responses in your business data. Ensuring that each one is timely, relevant, and tailored to your customer's needs. Einstein Copilot comes preset with standard actions, enabling it to immediately assist users with common Salesforce tasks, including summarizing records, drafting or revising sales emails, aggregating data, and answering queries using your knowledge base. It's time to talk to Salesforce via your personal assistant, Einstein Copilot. Let's say you're a service rep for Coral Cloud Resort, and you need to help Sophie, a visiting customer who has checked in and been told that her family's white water rafting activity was unexpectedly canceled by one of our vendors. We'll use Copilot to help Sophie salvage the trip. I'll select the Einstein icon in the top right corner to open a sidebar that is my conversational UI. Starting a conversation with a, hello, we see that our new friend responds by asking, how can it help? Using natural language, I'll ask it to pull up any open cases for Sophie and read the notes. Notice it might take a few seconds to process and display Sophie's information. Copilot is aware of your org structure and is performing multiple actions on the back end, like determining which object is being referenced, what field to use for the open status, figuring out what is meant by Sophie, and so on. Once it's open, I'll ask Einstein to summarize the case for me. This standard, or out-of-the-box action is how Einstein Copilot enhances productivity. Instead of clicking through to find case notes, employees can focus on customer engagement. Reading through the case, we learn that what we heard from Sophie matches the case notes. Now we need to find a good alternative for Sophie and her family that will salvage their vacation. To help Sophie and her family, we have to pull from different data sources. This isn't a problem for Copilot, though, since we'll use custom actions to process the needed information to find a replacement activity. Our first ask is to suggest alternative activities. Copilot is doing a couple of things here. It's reaching out to a weather API to retrieve weather conditions for the day of the whitewater rafting trip. It's also checking the party size requirement for alternative activities with Sophie's party of four. And we now have a return. Einstein recommends the same activity for Sophie and family, whitewater rafting. Since we're probably on the phone with Sophie or helping her via a chat, I'll ask about available times so I can book everything in real time. On the back end, Einstein is looking for upcoming dates and times for the white water rafting trip that fit with Sophie's time frame, specifically when she is staying at the resort. The result displays and we see several possible times. So that Sophie's trip is minimally disrupted, I'll tell Einstein to book the activity for the same day that the original was canceled. This goes into our bookings and we're done. I'll give Sophie her confirmation number, and hopefully they won't even remember that the original whitewater rafting trip was even canceled. Let's look behind the curtain. From setup, I'll search for Einstein Generative AI and select Einstein Copilot Actions. There are three different action types, Apex, Flow, and Prompt Template. Let's close this and take a look at the actions we currently have. You can also generate concise summaries of sales calls and use actionable insights that elevate your client's conversations. 
These are our standard actions, which include Copilot's suggested actions in the form of buttons like summarize record. Then there are custom actions, three of which we use to help out Sophie and her family. Suggest alternative activities, check weather, book experience instance, and suggest available times. Let's look at how a simple standard action works. I'll open up the Copilot Builder. Note that on this screen, we see Copilot is on. Select Einstein Copilot to open it. The active button is checked, indicating this Einstein Copilot is activated. Now let's open the Copilot Builder. Admins can test how Copilot is functioning in the Copilot Builder. Let's look at a simple standard action and see what's going on. I'll ask it to query three contacts. Einstein is evaluating the action to take, and we can soon expect to see how our Copilot builds a plan and executes the action from my prompt. The custom actions you decide to create can also be tested and seen like this in the Copilot Builder. Look at that. Einstein was smart enough to pick up the query records and pull the data from Salesforce. Now I see the results and we've learned how users work with Copilot on the front end and how admins work with it on the back end. There you have it. Now you've gotten a glimpse of what's possible with Einstein Copilot and how you can tailor experiences by customizing actions to fit your specific business needs. To learn more, check out the other videos in this series, search for topics in Salesforce help, or join us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.